everyone. I'm gonna sit over here and chat with you for a minute. Welcome to Vlogmas day two. Oh my god, watch me screw up these dates. This is the type of thing that I shouldn't be doing because I'm just absolutely gonna butcher these Vlogmas days. Um, but it is day two and I am just about to get ready for an event with Dermalogica. In fact, today is a fun-filled event day i have another event later today um and i will also be sitting down to show you my best and worst luxury items of 2022 i'm very very excited to sit down and um show you those items i know it's actually a really really requested video just to tell you guys like what items i thought were worth it which ones weren't and um stuff like that but um, i'm quickly gonna get dressed i'm actually gonna show you what i'm planning on wearing all right hope you can see me here but Let's just turn the way. I literally can't see. There we go. <laughs> so what I'm planning on wearing today, I think, is this. So it's my Lily Silk dress. I'm gonna wear it with my Holly Cooper belt and my Banana Republic boots. This is actually an outfit that was in my fall winter shopping my wardrobe video. Really, really beautiful outfit. <laughs> actually took inspo from that video. The other alternative for the event was this gorgeous Karen Millen dress. Um, I actually never had an opportunity to wear this one. Just so sad because it's so, so beautiful. But I'm gonna try both on to see which one I feel better in. I'm not feeling the greatest right now, to be honest, but that's okay. I'm gonna try both of them on and see what feels better. This is the dress so far. I am feeling really pretty in this one. So this could be a winner for today. Or at least for this morning. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so pretty. All right, this is the outfit. I don't even know if you can see them. I have to go back here. But I've got the Lily Silk dress and bag. I might do, I think this one's gonna be too big for the event. Yeah, this looks too much like a work bag. So I think I'm gonna do my strap right. Let me go grab it. For makeup, I'm just gonna go in a little bit with my Jones Road bronzer, just to add a little bit more color. Wonderful. And then for lips, I'm doing my current favorite combo, which is my Ilia Lip Wrap and my Clay de Peau lipstick in 211 um, Influential. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this. That is hair and makeup all done. Jewelry wise, this is actually pieces that you guys have been asking, um, but they're all from Ideal, um, and I've got the earrings and the necklace, but I'll tell you a little bit more about them a little bit later. I just really gotta go to this event. So I'm gonna quickly call an Uber. I am just on the way down to catch my Uber. I'm so excited for this Dermalogica event. Oh, I love being able to spend time with the brands that I just, I love. to a Johnny Walker blue event. They are actually having a pop-up shop and yeah, I'm really, really excited. And then I think after that, we might go out for dinner somewhere. Um, but the Dermalogic event was really, really lovely. It was nice to just see a lot of people that I haven't seen in some time. Always love catching up with the girls, which is always lovely and food was good. And I did have to leave a little bit early. I missed dessert. I literally love dessert and I had to miss dessert because I had to run back and um, catch an Uber to go to this next event. But um, yeah, anyways, that's what, that's what we're doing. You're not here to keep me warm on Christmas. All right, we're in Yorkdale, just walking to the Johnny Walker um, store. It's on the other side of the mall, so just making our way there. Hey there, buddy. It's just me again. Came into my mind last night, so I'm just. I'm just checking in It's been far too long now Since I last saw you, my friend So happy Christmas From me to you 
everyone i just finished doing my makeup for the day i actually went with my say um slip tint today looks like this just because my skin was actually feeling really really good today and i wanted something super super light and glowy so i used that um otherwise i've been using my luminous silk foundation although i think the shade is still too light i do darken it a little bit with bronzer but i still think it's not the correct shade but anyways i feel like i haven't talked to you in a day yesterday was a super super busy work day and in the evening i actually attended a wonderful um charity event that michael kors um hosted and it was for the caritas foundation um, and essentially they are a foundation that really works with like global issues and it's really really great to just spend a night and so 15% of all the purchases that were made last night actually went towards this charity so I bought a few things I'm actually wearing what I got last night because it is the cutest set I have actually had my eye on this collection since I think it was Victoria in the fro she did an ad with Michael Kors on this collection it's like their ski collection and she did such an awesome job, such an awesome campaign that she did. Um, but obviously things take a little bit longer to get to Canada. So the collection, um, they had it in store last night. It was so exciting. So I got myself, I'll actually show it to you because um, it's so cute. I'll actually show you the set. So these are the two pieces that I got. I got the, I think this is the merino wool like mock neck sweater. Um, and it's super cute because it's got the little MK logo and then the stripe all along the arm. And then these are the shorts. I wanted this more like a loungewear set. Um, so I got these little shorts and I got both pieces in a size small because I just wanted it to be comfy. So that's the set that I got. I will actually link it down below for you guys because it's the cutest thing. And I am kind of regretting not maybe getting the matching pants. I can still get it because they're online. But then the 15% wouldn't be going to the charity. No, I'm just kind of regretting that a little bit. But it was a really, really lovely time. We got to hang out with the Michael Kors team. Um, and there's just so many, so many people there doing some great shopping for the holidays and for the charity. But that was yesterday. Yesterday was just a really, really big work day. Um, but then the day before, which you will have seen, we went to a Johnny Walker event. And this is super, super cool because um, Johnny Walker is doing a beautiful pop-up at Yorkdale Mall. I believe it's from, well, from December 1st um, until like, the 28th or just after Christmas like the pop-up shop will be open until Christmas um, and essentially like with every Johnny Walker blue bottle that you get you can engrave it for free so I'm actually going to show you the bottles that we got because we got to do our own engraving <laughs> and it was really really cool because the whole event was really us doing a tasting of all of the whiskeys that they offer um, so they have the black I think it was double black, the green label, and then the blue label, which is like most premium whiskey. And I'm not the biggest whiskey drinker, um, but I do love tasting whiskey. I think it's such a cool experience. Whiskey has such a unique flavor, and I've really appreciated it, even though I can't necessarily just sit down and drink a glass of it like I do wine. Um, but I think it's really, really cool. I really appreciate the flavors in it. So anyways, it was really, really cool to do that tasting. And at the end, they let us know that we'd actually be able to take home with us um a bottle of johnny walker blue so this is the beautiful beautiful box and then once you open it up you have the whiskey this is one of them that we got engraved and i'll show you the other one because it's really really cute essentially you're able to do anything like happy holidays happy anniversary this one we just put our names on it and the date um and then the other one we got creative we didn't know what we wanted to engrave but i think this is a really cute idea to do with like a bottle of wine or you know if you're looking for something you and your partner to do um i think this is really really cute but we essentially engraved to open it on like an anniversary year you could put like a 10th wedding anniversary or a fifth anniversary um and i think it's just really really cute so we did the fifth <laughs> um and I'm trying to do it it's trying to show you here what it looks like but that is a close-up of the bottle and it truly, truly is such a luxurious um, bottle. If you have any whiskey lovers that, like, you know, are in your gifting group, then I think this would make a really, really beautiful gift. Um, and like I said, the pop-up will be um, running until 
till Christmas essentially so you'll have plenty of time to go but really really cool experience I believe they also told us that like you'd be able to do some tastings while there while you're there um, so if you want to try different ones and pick different ones out like I said they're not only selling blue at the pop-up I believe they're also selling like the black label the green label um, I think they have like four different ones and they can also help you choose out which one I think it's super cool that they are doing something like that um, I think it's such a great gift for the holidays but anyways um, for today I am going to unfortunately have to get out of my comfy set that way I can sit down with you guys and do a little bit of a haul well sort of not really um, I really want to sit down with you and go through the best and worst luxury um, items and purchases I guess I really didn't want to do just purchases this year because I think when I when I buy a luxury item I want to be able to wear it for years and years and years and so instead of just showing you all of my luxury purchases from this year I actually want to incorporate the pieces from past years that I am still wearing and perhaps which ones I am not still wearing just because like I said when I buy luxury it's not like for the next six months it's for the next six to ten years um, even more so I really wanted to create a video where I incorporated all of my luxury pieces and items um, while also sharing with you new pieces that I've added into my wardrobe kind of like I feel like this is a bit of like a shopping my wardrobe series but luxury edition uh, because I know that when it comes to buying luxury it is something that at least for myself I take a lot of time and I think about it a lot because it is a lot of money and you really want these pieces to be in your wardrobe for quite some time so I'm going to grab all of my items and sit down with you and go through which ones didn't get a lot of use which ones I didn't think were worth it which ones I think were absolutely amazing but anyways I'm very excited so let me grab all this stuff um, get changed get into proper clothing attire for today and we'll get chatting about luxury items but the best and worst luxury items of 2022 I am all situated um, to chat to you guys about the best and worst luxury items of 2022 and like I said I really wanted to do this in a way that wasn't just like what I bought in 2022 but also bringing back some pieces um, from you know past years that I am either still wearing or maybe not wearing as much so let's get into it all right so i think i'm going to do this in no particular order but i want to start with a positive so let's start with the bag that i think i wore probably more than any other bag in my entire collection and that is my lady dior so this is the small abc lady dior and i got mine in the black and i think there's a few reasons as to why this continues to be such a great item in my wardrobe and the first one is versatility so this bag is a top handle as well as a crossbody so i've got the strap here and having that option makes it so you can wear this as an evening bag or you can just as easily you know take this out on a long stroll which is oftentimes how i wear this bag i live in the city um, i can't always be walking around with a bag in my hand i wish but that's not the reality for me and so having both of those options makes this bag so so easy to wear the other reason I think this is such a great bag is durability. I think one of the things people tell you about the Lady Dior is that it's really delicate. And I honestly have to say, I don't think that's true. I am not a very gentle person with my bags. I wear my bags and I live with my bags. Obviously I take care of them. I'm not gonna throw them around, but I do wear my bags. And with how much I have worn this bag, I would say there is only one tiny, tiny, tiny scuff just up here um, the only other sign of wear in this bag are in the handles and i think that's just because you know my nails and it's constantly rubbing up against each other but other than that even the bottom looks like it's in pristine condition and then obviously aesthetics it's a beautiful bag it honestly adds such a beautiful just addition to any outfit regardless of what you're wearing i mean i could wear it with this outfit that i'm wearing right now and it would look amazing so number one bag it's just such an easy piece to reach for so if you're looking to add a really really classic piece to your wardrobe this is number one i absolutely love it um such an amazing bag i don't think i'll ever ever get rid of that bag because it's just it's a classic time piece next we have my louis vuitton agenda sticking with the positives here because 
I cannot tell you how much I have used this. This has been like my life since I got it. And again, I'm not gentle with it. Um, it has just kept its look so, so beautifully. The only sign of wear um, is on the like um, closure here, just because that is where my finger touches when I open it. But aside from that, the leather is beautiful. Um, and I just, I love it. I use this as an agenda. I use it as a notebook. My whole life is in here and I love it. If you're looking to just have a planner that you're gonna have for you for the rest of your life and all you're gonna have to do is change the inserts, then I would highly, highly recommend looking into the Louis Vuitton agenda. It is amazing. Um, and of course I just got it in the classic like monogram, but my like pride and joy. The next two items are gonna be two items that are honestly a little bit newer to my collection and I'm very, very excited to tell you about them. So we will be talking about two new jewelry pieces. I've got this beautiful necklaces, which some of you have caught me wearing in the last several videos of mine because honestly, the moment I put them on, I have not taken them off, which is like, you guys know, that's, that's rare. <laughs> And I've got as well these beautiful just diamond stud earrings. So these two pieces are actually from a brand called Idol. And I'm actually working with them in this part of the video, which I'm very excited about because I can't wait to tell you guys about the brand. Idol is a luxury jewelry brand that focuses on two things. One is modular jewelry, which I think is one of the most brilliant concepts ever, especially for jewelry, right? And um, you guys know when it comes to my watches, um, my favorite brand is modular in the sense that you can swap out the face, you can swap out the strap. I think that's brilliant. It really means you can save on buying, you know, five things that are, look very similar and just swap things in and out. The next thing is their sustainability and ethical practices. So all of the diamonds um, that are used in Idol are actually all lab grown diamonds. Lab grown diamonds are actually gonna be both physically and chemically the exact same as a diamond that grows out in nature. The biggest difference is that they are gonna have less of an impact on our earth. So they are just better for the environment all around. Because they are man-made diamonds, it also means that the price isn't gonna be quite as high as, you know, naturally grown diamonds. I personally do just prefer lab grown diamonds. I see nothing wrong with them. I think even like for engagement rings in the future, I don't see why I would ever get a naturally grown diamond. That's just a personal preference. But other than that, all of their jewelry is 14K gold as well, which is awesome because unlike 18K gold, 14K gold is actually a lot more durable than 18K gold and nothing is plated. Everything is solid gold. So that is the basics of Idol. But I want to show you the two pieces that I picked out and I honestly just have fallen in love with. Now with Idol, you can buy the chain and just buy the different pendants to go with it. So I picked the Ada and I'll get closer so you can see it. So the reason I picked the Ada is because I felt like it was a bit of a twist on the traditional just diamond necklace. It felt really, really special. And I loved the fact that all their chains are actually um, adjustable, which means they've got three different lengths. So for example, when I wear it over top of sweaters like this, I could make it longer and wear it. Whereas some of my other necklaces, because they're not adjustable, I can't do this. I actually have to just wear them inside and then I don't get to see them. So the fact that I can adjust the length of the chain is really, really awesome. So this is the first piece from Idol that has been like just the most, beautiful addition to my collection. The second piece are gonna be my earrings. So these are the Amelia earrings, and like I said, Idol is gonna be modular. So I got the large diamond stud with the Amelia um, add-on. So I'll show you what that looks like. So what that means is that essentially I've got two earrings in one. So for this particular earring, I actually went with the Amelia because I felt it matched the Ada necklace. And not only that, but it meant it was I was gonna get two earrings in one. Um, so because everything is modular, it means that I can take off the little like outer ring and it leaves me with just a classic diamond stud, which I love. If I were to take the outside off, then I have just a classic diamond stud earring, which is so, so beautiful. You can see that it looks quite different to when I have the attachment on. 
Um, and I think this is brilliant, you know, instead of buying four or five, six different um, diamond earrings, you can just buy one diamond and add on all your little attachments. And I think that that is such a brilliant concept. But these are the two newest pieces that I've added and I couldn't wait to tell you guys more about them. I also wanted to let you guys know that they're having a bit of a sale right now. So if you're looking to gift yourself, um, because I would highly encourage you gifting yourself these beautiful pieces, <laughs> or if you're looking to treat someone during the holidays, then these are gonna be such beautiful gifts. Um, I also wanna tell you that the packaging is absolutely beautiful um i'll actually insert a clip of me opening it i remember opening this up when i got it and i was like oh sam like you're gonna have to film this to show your youtube girls because i just tore into it the day i got it the packaging experience is so beautiful so if you are looking for a gift um you can actually honestly ship this right to them and it's going to be such a beautiful experience anyways that is the next two items in this video because honestly i haven't taken them off and i know you guys have noticed that i haven't taken them off since I've gotten them. They look so classy and beautiful. The next item is going to be one that I actually never fully showed you. It is going to be my Louis Vuitton um, duffel. Now I will link the exact size of this one because I believe it is one of the smaller duffels. Now I purchased this one in the Paris airport when I was like running out of bags. I literally had to check in my bag and walk into the airport with like a shopping bag with like my um, valuables and go into a store, buy a bag and um, put everything into it. So this is, this is that bag. <laughs> but um, I had honestly been eyeing up a really, really great duffel bag. I do a lot of back and forth, as you guys know, to Cambridge where my family lives. Um, I spent a lot of weekends there. And so I just really, really wanted a durable yet beautiful bag that I was gonna get lots of good use out of. This one does not disappoint. Again, it's such a beautiful look. It's a type of bag that's gonna age beautifully. I honestly was not aware of this. <laughs> I should have I should have known but when I went into the store even the leather has already darkened a little bit But I went into it. And I was like, oh like do you have like a lighter leather? You know when you see a lot of these vintage bags the leather is like a beautiful like caramel color and She goes no, it only comes in one leather But what happens is as you know the bag ages um, and the leather ages It's actually gonna turn into a warm caramel color essentially So it is the type of bag that it's gonna wear beautifully um, So when you buy it the color does look really really pale Pale, and then as you wear it, it's gonna change and I'm just so excited for that But again, it's the type of bag that I buy once and I'm gonna have it with me for the rest of my life And I can't tell you how much wear I have gotten out of this bag truly truly couldn't recommend it enough And this is also a type of piece that you can buy vintage um, I'll be waiting a while for the leather to change But if you want to buy one with the leather already that beautiful like caramel color Then um, you could buy these off of like there's the real real there's consignment stores um, all of these places that you can buy them um, pretty loved and I think that is awesome but this has been such an amazing purchase um, that I just had to put it in this video next up we have my Valentino boots I purchased these last season and I can't tell you how much I have worn these um, I wore them all last season I am still wearing them this season the leather has just aged so beautifully it's such a smooth like creasing some boots crease really really badly so it causes like really really bad wrinkles in the leather not just creasing but wrinkles and as you can see there is very little of that the worst creasing is probably here like wrinkling but in the front it's super super smooth and it just looks beautiful so i've never really thought of valentino for boots um, but after this experience i will absolutely in the future be looking to valentino for boots because the quality is just beautiful and they're such a classic timeless um style that Oh, I absolutely love them. It's just an amazing amazing purchase again Not one from this year But it is one that I am still wearing and is exactly what I expect from my luxury pieces that I add into my wardrobe Next is actually gonna be is a gift. So this is actually a gift um, This is my birthday gift from my mom and dad, but this is a little card holder Sorry, not card holder key holder from Louis Vuitton And I think this is such a great Christmas gift idea for those of you out there and such a great one I think at that um, but this is a traditional key holder so I've got my keys my fob I've got everything in here and my mother also managed to get my initials embossed in there which I think is so so great but prior to this I was just carrying around this like 
not very pretty like keychain and it was just dangling everywhere and so they decided to get me this and I think it is such a brilliant idea I absolutely love it I never would have thought I would have gotten so much use out of this um, but it is so much better than having my keys clunking around everywhere um, and it does actually function as a card holder as well so you can put cards in here as well if you need to um, if you're someone who's like really minimalistic with their cards then you can honestly have everything in one place but I wanted to put this in here because ever since I got it I've been using it and it is absolutely wonderful like I said also an amazing gift um, for someone if you're looking for a little bit of a luxury a luxury treat <laughs> Next item is gonna be one that is probably not expected, but these are one of my most worn heels. Um, again, oh, were they purchased this year? I can't remember if it was this year or last year. Regardless, um, I have worn them to so many events, so many just get togethers because they are so classy and beautiful. But these are my Louboutin hot chicks. And as you can tell, they've gotten some love. <laughs> um, and this style is absolutely amazing. I feel like when you hear of Christian Louboutins, you either think of the um, Pigals or, oh, what are the other ones? The, the Kates, the So Kates. Um, those are the two styles that everyone buys. And I feel like when you go in and you think, oh, classy Christian Louboutin, those are the two styles that you get. But like anything, it's really important to get something that fits your body and in this case, your foot. Not every shoe is gonna fit every foot the same way. The width and the length of a toe box of a heel is gonna really dictate how comfortable that shoe is gonna be on you, as well as the length and the height. Um, and I'm really, really a strong believer in buying things that are best for you. So not everyone is gonna be able to wear a four inch heel and that's okay. Maybe a three inch heel is better for you. Um, you know, maybe the So Kates or the Kates are not good for you, but the Pigals are. For me, unfortunately, I will most likely not be buying the Kates ever because they don't fit my foot comfortably. Um, so there's no use in me buying a shoe that I'm not gonna be able to wear. But the Hot Chick styles are my favorite. I have them in two colors, but the blacks have been my most worn. Um, and as you can see, these have a beautiful like scalloped detailing on this side, just a classic, very thin heel. And then I find that the toe box on this one is a little bit wider than the Kate's and the Pigals, which for me makes them a lot comfier. And they have since released this style in a sling back, which I am dying to get my hands on because they're so, so beautiful. But um, yeah, I had to include these in here because I cannot tell you how much I have worn these. I actually wore these to the Michael Kors event last night and they were beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And if you're looking into Louboutins, I would highly, highly recommend sizing up half size to a full size. Now, when you try them on in store, just think. Your foot isn't swollen, you haven't been wearing them for four hours. You want to buy a shoe for your future self. Um, and so that is my tip of advice. So um, these are a 36 and a half, and at Louboutin, my true size would be a 36, but I go up a half size because I want that room. So when I first wear these, they do feel a little slippy, um, but as soon as my foot swells a little bit, they fit. Perfectly. So that is my trick to wearing Louboutins. Size up and don't be afraid to try on all the styles that they have because I think these guys get a bad rep just because people are maybe buying the incorrect shoe for them. Um, yeah, but I love these. I've gotten so much wear out of them and I couldn't recommend them enough. I think I've talked about them before, but they're awesome. Next up, we have my lovely Dior book tote. Man, this gal has seen so much with me this year. Um, and I've really bought this as a travel bag and it has been absolutely amazing. And there's a few reasons why. One, it's a big bag, it fits a lot. And two, this is something that honestly, once you have it, you can never go back. But this bag stands on its own. So you can put a million things in it and it stands. It's not like your typical tote bag that you sit it down and it like flops. It'll just keep flopping and you have to like always lean it up against something. And I think this is one of the reasons why this bag is so awesome to use. Um, when it comes to um, organization, I actually got this for my birthday as well, but I got an organizing insert for it. I believe this one is from Etsy. I'll try and link it down below for you guys. I'll have to ask my mom where she got it from um, or like the specific Etsy shop. I know she told me she got it from Etsy, but um, this one just has a few compartments. I think I've got, I've got a scrunchie in there, but you can put like water bottles stuff in here and I just put it in here and it just really helps 
to keep things organized in here so nothing is like lost in the bottom. It's also just gonna help keep the shape of the bag um, when you are not using it. So this is another amazing item this year because it is just amazing. Obviously you can buy it in different colorways, but I went for the traditional one. I didn't want the traditional one, but when I tried it on, it was just, it was stunning. So I went for it. And next up we have my pride and joy. This is another Lady Dior. This is the medium lady, I think it's the D-Lite. So this one is actually not in leather. This one is gonna be in like an embroidered material. Um, and it is the medium size. So I'll actually compare them side by side. So as you can see, that is the small and this is the medium. It fits so, so much. If you are someone who loves wearing a beautiful bag, but you know, you need all of your essentials, this is gonna be the bag for you. Um, it also comes with a beautiful crossbody strap, which has like this. I absolutely love it. I got this one in Paris. She is my Paris girl and um, I love it. Again, this is a bag that fits my wardrobe very, very seamlessly. You've got the black, the white, the beiges. The only thing that I was really concerned about was the gunmetal um, hardware, but honestly, it has not bothered me one bit. I absolutely love this bag. She is like, my pride and joy. I love her so, so much. I also love the flexibility of having the medium and the small. It's wonderful. You can tell I have a little bit of a preference here, but this is going to be my Dior saddle bag. Cannot tell you how much wear I have gotten out of this bag. I absolutely love it. It's the only white bag that I own, which makes it such a great item in my wardrobe. I do have to say though, there's one downside to this bag is that it did not come with a strap when I bought it. Now I have seen that saddlebags are now coming with a crossbody strap. And if they do, then absolutely purchase the saddlebag. If for some reason the bag that you buy does not come with a crossbody strap, which is what happened to me, um, then I would highly, highly recommend buying yourself a strap to go with it. So this is a just one of their Dior guitar straps. So it's a bit of a thicker strap and it's gonna make it so much more wearable. I absolutely love it. I think I wouldn't wear this bag as much if it weren't for the crossbody strap because personally speaking, I don't wanna always have to wear a bag in my hand or on my shoulder. I think that's a bit annoying. I want my hands free to do anything, so I always prefer when bags have crossbody straps. So yeah, that's the next item. I promise this is the last bag, but this is my Holland Cooper saddle bag. And I know this comes to no surprise. I have worn this one so much. Not only did I wear it a lot in the summer, but I have continued wearing it in the fall. And now we're heading into winter and I'm still wearing it. Um, I absolutely love this bag. As I like, it's got both a top handle and a crossbody. It's just got beautiful, beautiful, Space in there. Um, it's such a classic bag and the quality is beautiful for how much I've worn this. Like you'd probably believe it if I told you I've never worn it. Um, that is how wonderful the quality is. Holland Cooper does not disappoint with anything that they do. And now that they're getting into bags is really exciting because I absolutely love them and they're such amazing quality and at such great price points for the quality. It is really, really, really impressive how beautiful these bags are. But yeah, that's the last bag um, that I will be adding adding in here um, so and the last items that I want to talk about are a couple of Missouri pieces Missouri technically isn't luxury but I think there are a few pieces that they sell that are at a luxury price point so I want to talk about a couple of those pieces number one would be my Charlotte ring with diamonds so this is the diamond Charlotte soft ring and due to the fact that it has diamonds it is at a quite high price point but as I mentioned um, in my um, sale recommendations, this is one of my most worn rings. I wear it every single day, it just looks so beautiful. Also one of my most complimented rings alongside my red gemstone, but because it is at ha that high price point, I wanted it to put in here because again, it is, it's up here, it's not down here. Um, but I love it so much. And if you're looking for that special gift for someone or yourself, then I would highly recommend this one. It is so, so, so beautiful. Keeping with the diamonds is gonna be the Missouri Diamond Ring Band. Again, quite a higher price point. 
um, but it is a piece that I can wear on its own. I personally love stacking it with the Charlotte ring, um, but on its own, it looks so, so stunning. It is so, so dainty. It is something that you could add to your wedding band, your engagement ring, or you could just simply wear it on its own and it's super, super beautiful. Um, just again, another piece that is quite up there, but so, so beautiful and I would highly, highly recommend um, if you're looking for a luxury jewelry piece. Anyways, let's move on to some of the not so great items um, of 2022. Now, I do take pride in the fact that I like to think that I make quite smart decisions when it comes to my luxury purchases. But there have been a few this past year that I've been just a little bit disappointed in and or have struggled to wear them as much as I would have liked to. So the first item I'm gonna talk about is one that isn't necessarily a bad purchase, but one that I just haven't gotten as much use out of as I would have liked. And that is my Burberry Freya tote. Now, when I first got this bag, I wore it so, 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 so much. Um, but the longer I had it, the less I wore it and there was a couple of reasons why. One, this bag very much feels like a summer bag. With the white canvas and the brown leather accents, it really is just, I feel like it just caters to warm summer months and not so much winter months. Um, the other thing is that unlike the Dior book tote, this one will stand on its own when there's nothing in it. But as soon as you put something in it, this bag does not really stand. It will flop over. Um, now it is a little bit sturdier than most other tote bags, but it is not anything close to how sturdy the Dior book tote is. Um, if you're someone who doesn't mind or someone who lives in you know, a tropical country that you have summer all year long, I could not recommend this bag enough. The quality is beautiful, the straps are beautiful. The canvas has worn so beautifully. Um, there is very little wear on the white canvas. Um, but yeah, I've just been a little bit disappointed that I haven't been able to wear this one as much. And I think it's because it is so much easier to just use my Dior book tote. It's easier to wear, it stands, it's just an easier bag to use. So that's, that's number one. These are my Fendi Chenille heels and it hurts me to put them in here. Um, because it's not that they're not easy to wear or I don't want to wear them or <sighs> the issue with these is that they hurt. Now, the actual shoe itself is fine. It's comfortable. The toe box is fine. It's super supportive. But this thin strap, this tiny little strap is the only thing supporting your ankle and this spot right here in the back literally rips my foot apart. I have tried using bandages. I have tried using like mole skin on my um, ankle. No matter what I do, this little T section in the back rips my ankle every single time. Um, and it is so heartbreaking and I don't know what to do about it because I wanna wear these shoes so, so badly. I mean, I did, I, I got a good use out of them. Um, but not as much as I would have liked because this part continues to hurt me so, so much. And um, if you have any ideas as to how I could potentially deal with that, please comment down below because I wanna keep wearing these shoes. But because of that particular reason, I have not worn these more and it makes me really, really sad. But what can you do? Just, yeah. These next shoes hurt me because you guys know how much I love this brand, but these are, my Dior slingbacks and it really hurts me. This makes me so sad. So the reason these are in here is not because of the style or the comfort, it's simply because of the color. There is something about this particular nude color that makes it really, really hard to wear. In fact, I have these guys in like a houndstooth color and I have worn these so much more than these. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's not pink, it's not nudie enough, it's not dark enough, maybe it's too light of a color. Um, but for that very reason, they are very, very hard to wear. I honestly sometimes wish I would have gotten these in a black. Um, I just think that this particular nude is such an awkward color. It's a really, really weird color. And so for that reason, I have not worn these enough or as much as I would have liked to because yeah, just a really awkward color to wear with things. Um, I feel like you can only wear this with like an all black outfit or like a black and white outfit. And I don't know, it, they're just weird. It's an odd thing. I haven't worn them all that much. It hurts my soul. 
hurts my soul. Next up, we have my Fendi Peekaboo. Now, I am hoping that in next year's video, this bag will not be in here and she will be in the most worn. But as of right now, I have found this color to be super, super hard to wear. It's a very cool toned, like gray neutral color. Um, and for some reason, I have really struggled to wear it. I sometimes wish I would have gotten a black, a burgundy, a brown, something, uh, just a different color because the bag itself is stunning. There is no labels anywhere. It, it fits so, so much. The strap is a beautiful, thick leather strap. Um, so it is a top handle and a crossbody, which for me is a must have. But again, the color is just been very frustrating to wear. So I'm gonna try my best to really, really cater some outfits and some pieces to this bag and hopefully it'll be better because this has not been, has not been ideal and it's so sad. Um, so it's not, there's nothing wrong with the bag. I just have struggled to wear this color and it makes me really sad and I haven't gotten a whole lot of use of this bag, which is heartbreaking in my opinion. And last, but not least are my Manolos. So these ladies have yet to be worn. And the reason is I don't have anything with silver hardware. And maybe this is just me being very picky. Because of the silver hardware and the um, like gemstones on here, these shoes have been near impossible to wear. Anything that I pair with them, I just feel like doesn't go because it's yellow hardware and I just, it seems really, really weird. And so I will make a point to buy a bag this holiday season with silver hardware in the hopes that I will be able to wear these because um, these are quite comfortable and I can usually tell as soon as I put heels on how comfortable they're gonna be. I wear lots of heels. And so, yeah, it's just really sad that I haven't even had the chance to wear these because they have just been so difficult to wear. So I will be buying a bag that will go with these, <laughs> which is so frustrating because you should never have to buy something in order to wear something that you just bought. That, in my opinion, is not a great purchase and that is why they're in here. So sad because I love them, but I'm gonna do everything that I can to make sure that I can wear these this holiday season because these are so beautiful, so stunning, and they were my New York purchase. But yeah, anyways, that was the last item in this best or worst video. And I hope there were some items in here that um, you could maybe gain some insight into, maybe some ideas as to what to get for the holidays. Um, but I wanted to share these with you because yeah, I'm honestly, I am glad to say that I have more good items than that um, because that is what I strive for but sometimes some purchases just don't work out as well as you envision them to you know I always wanted those Manolo heels and they just ended up not fitting quite perfectly into my wardrobe um same with my Fendi peekaboo you know the color looked perfect in store it was perfect with the outfit that I was wearing that day um but I just didn't think enough about what that color would look like with the rest of my wardrobe and that's okay, it happens, but I'm glad to say that most of the items that I have are absolutely amazing and I have worn so, so much, even though they're not new. Um, that's the whole point, right? Buying items that you can wear for years and years and years. But anyways, I think now I'm going to put all of these items back and hopefully we are gonna get out for a little bit of a walk. It is quite nice today. It's not sunny, it's not gloomy, but I wanna get out and just, you know, maybe get a hot chocolate, get some um, teas or coffees or something and just enjoy the beautiful day before the sun goes away because the sun literally disappears at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and it's so depressing. You're like ready for bed at six o'clock and it's like, what? It's only six. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna tidy up all of this stuff. Hello everyone, it is quite late. Um, actually, it's not, see this is the issue. It's only six o'clock and it is fully, fully dark outside. It always feels like it is super, super late. But we're gonna go out and take a bit of a walk, pick up some hot chocolates. Um, I also switched back into my Michael Gore sweater, honestly. I'm obsessed with this sweater. It is so cozy and I love that it's like a mock neck um, style. It is lovely. So I'm just gonna quickly touch up my makeup. I feel like it's like all gone from today. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm really, really excited because tomorrow morning we will be going to pick up caviar um, at Italy because every year, once a year, and we actually missed it last year because we didn't know what day it was, but every year, once a year, um, Italy sells caviar and it's always like discounted at like 30% off or something like that. Um, and the first time I ever had caviar was I think two years ago, my mom and dad um, had had the opportunity in the past to have caviar and they wanted me to get that opportunity. So we got it and I was honestly praying that I wasn't gonna like it. Cause it's an expensive thing to eat, okay? Don't get me wrong. Um, and my boyfriend's never tried it, so we're excited to be able to tr have it all together and have him try it. And um, yeah, I still remember being like, I hope I don't like it, I hope I don't like it, and I ended up loving it, unfortunately. That's always how, um, how things work. And of course, adding my Clay de Poe lipstick. It's like my new favorite color. And fragrance, I have a new fragrance to show you. This is a new Jo Malone White Moss and Snowdrop Cologne. And you guys know I love, love Jo Malone. And it's been a while since I bought a new Jo Malone. I just didn't feel like I had found one that I liked. But anyways, I went, I got invited to the pop-up at Yorkdale Mall. Super, super cute pop-up where you can get like your boxes like painted, like hand painted. And anyways, there... Um, they kindly gave me um, this one, which is one of their holiday special edition ones. And I have to tell you, the moment I smelled this, I was really thrown off because I don't like the smell from the bottle. It smells, it smells a little old, but as soon as you spray it and it kind of changes on your skin, like with your skin, it smells so good. Um, so I'm going to top that up. I actually took this with me to the bike course event last night and I had it like in my bag so I could like top myself up because it's so, so, so lovely. Sorry, my battery just died there. I'm not sure if you heard me um, say what I said. But anyways, I was just saying that the fragrance really, really changes on your skin. Um, but I'm going to put some socks on, find a coat to wear. I might wear my red Karen Millen, or I might just do my, oh, you know what? No, I want to be super cozy, so I'm going to wear my Michael Kors, my big wool coat, because that one is super cozy. And I might have to bring an umbrella, because it looks like it's going to rain. I also wanted to show you this, um, the new Jo Malone fragrance. Is this bottle not beautiful? It looks like a little Christmas ornament. I absolutely love it. Anyways, she has found a new home with my um, Hermes Sambac fragrance because this is like my most worn fragrance. It's so good. But yeah, that's, that's her new home. <laughs> it's white outside the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their home well, I have picked up my hot chocolate. It is like the richest hot chocolate ever. It just literally feels like they melt in a chocolate bar with like a teeny tiny bit of milk. But we're gonna take a bit longer of a walk because it's only like six degrees. It's beautiful, beautiful out. It's not windy. Um, so we're just gonna take an extra long walk. Um, tonight and enjoy yeah, my hot chocolate. All, all snow is falling down. All the colored lights. Right? I turned it off, but then they diverged. No. Oh, the first movie was filmed here. Well, not the first movie. Here? Like, when she goes to, I think, college or university, this is, this is the Anna Green Gable School. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We just got back from doing some walking, and we picked up some groceries and stuff. We could not decide what we wanted for dinner, so we are having pretzels with homemade garlic butter, pasta with a rosé sauce, and some, like, prosciutto meats and stuff. I also got myself this like chia pudding thing, so I'll show you. So I'll show you what we got here. So these are the pretzels that we got. They look absolutely amazing. They're so soft. 
Um, I got some cheeses just to make some pasta. This is a fresh pasta from Italy. Um, this is one of our favorite, favorite things to get at Italy. We just splurge on it every single time because it's the best pasta. It's so hard to go back once you try Italy pasta. I stocked up on some almond butter because it was on sale. This is some meats from Italy. My favorite ice cream sandwiches. I'm still obsessed with these. I they just they just make me so 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 happy. Um, this is my little chia pudding. Um, I forget where these are from. Oh yes, from the Village Juicery. They make my favorite little puddings. Some limes, and that's it. So I'm going to hop in the shower quickly and get into some comfies before I start cooking. And my comfies will be this sweater and the matching shorts um, because it is just my favorite sweater and it is so, so cozy and soft. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, and I might put Jack on dinner duty or at least appetizer duty before um, I get in here and start making the pasta. Mm -hmm. 